Okay, so this weekend, how's the training been? Has it been a step up this week in intensity? We like to train at high intensity uh, all the time. Obviously, there's a little crackle of electricity in the air with a with a semi-final at the end of the week. But we've been playing cup rugby for a couple of weeks now. We've uh, we've had to get our wins to be in this position. So um, everyone's been pretty focused. Uh, it's just an exciting end to the week, and uh, we know that if we get this one wrong, there's uh, nothing the week after. Yeah. And it's the third semi-final. Does this one feel different? How different is it going into this one? Well, it's a different season, obviously, with a, uh, a World Cup at the beginning of it. Um, it's made it very tricky to get into the top four. We're a team who have a lot of representation in the England squad, as do Leicester. And I think both us and Leicester post World Cup have have had to work pretty hard to get to get where we are. Um, so having done that, we're pleased with that, but we need to deliver now. It's, it's been a tough season for us, uh, particularly with this back end of the season when you're hoping to bring um, a number of players back into the squad post uh, Six Nations, but injury and suspension have meant that um, we've had a few unavailable. Uh, but what it has given is an opportunity for other players to step up um, and play some good rugby. I think uh, Andy Long, at this stage in his career, and playing well, and, and, and another player at the in the early stages of his career, James Craig, has, has developed and stepped up and, and got man of the, a deserved man of the match last week. So there's there's lots of positives in, in what's happened this year so far. Yeah. But we know how tough it's going to be at Harlequins. It's uh, they're a good team. They, they, they play fast uh, and aggressive rugby. They're deservedly top of the table. Um, they got their noses in front early and they've managed to stay there, which is some achievement. Uh, we know the size of the task ahead. What we've got to concentrate on is our squad, our team, how we want to play and try and be at the top of our game come Saturday. I mean, what's I mean, TDs and semi-finals, what do you think it takes to win these very tight games usually? Well, that's it. A bit of luck, a bounce of the ball, a referee's decision. Um, all those things add up. But all we can do as uh, players and coaches is, is focus on the things that we control and and they're the rugby elements of the game, making your tackles, holding onto the ball, accurate clear-outs and all the things that, that coaches bang on about all the time. You get those bits right, you'll be in the game and then uh, if you do get that bounce of the ball, um, uh, you can come out on top. So we're lucky to have um, two good English fly halves who are both fighting for, uh, for, a, for a place in the team. Um, we need our, as I've said to you in the past, we need our fly halves to run the team and and keep the scoreboard ticking and, and, and Ryan and Stephen both do that so um, we've got a tricky decision on our hands but that's for us to make. We've done okay so far, we've got where we've got by playing the way we want to play which is we try and have all elements of the game uh, in our game plan. Sometimes conditions can dictate um, how you play um, but the forecast for the weekend isn't too bad so both teams play with some variety so I think it stacks up to be a good game of rugby. So where do you think the, the crux, the crucial battle will be this weekend? Oh, it's it's not. You can't um, pin it down to one area. It's right across the pitch, um, from one to fifteen or one to twenty-three, I should say. Uh, coping with the occasion and all the things it brings. Um, it's uh, it, everyone's got to be a hundred percent, and both teams will be saying exactly the same thing. Yeah. And you've been at this club a long time. What would it mean to the Saints to get to a first Premiership final? Yeah, it's something we haven't done. Uh, uh, we've uh, watched up the road over the years as Leicester have picked up um, titles and gone to finals and it's something we want to do and we're desperate to do it. Uh, we've got an opportunity to try and uh, go one stage further on Saturday. So it's an exciting prospect. Uh, we know what's at stake. Um, it's just getting the second half of the week right now, making sure we arrive at the stoop in, uh, uh, in good order.